Please consider becoming a patron of Myth Vision Podcast. You'll get early access to every video, including this amazing one. And you can ask me personal questions, private message me, anything you'd like. Professor Elaine Pagels, I have a couple questions. We might morph into one, and it might be a simple answer that you may not know the answer to, and I don't know if anyone really knows this answer, but I wanted your thoughts on. And the question is, when is the earliest that people believed Jesus rose physically from the dead? And what do you think the original teaching was? So we talked about this already. We kind of mentioned that, like, there's... It's various uh, angles on how to understand this. Paul may have been thinking spiritually, but when do you think physical became an idea in the earliest you could go? When would you date that? That's a good question. We've spoken about the fact that Paul, who whose earliest writing that we have, uh, spoke about resurrection as as an experience, a visionary experience. Uh, and, and of the body that rose as different from the body that we have now. It could be like a body out of light. He, he, didn't, he didn't know. He said it was a mystery. But as soon as the New Testament Gospels are written, and I'm thinking particularly of the Gospel of Luke and the Gospel of John, maybe that's, what, 50, 60 years after the death of Jesus, there are stories that talk about a resurrection in which you could actually touch Jesus and, and he, he ate food in front of the disciples to prove he wasn't a ghost because at first they thought he was appearing to them after they knew he died. So there, those stories are, are quite early. I mean, although, what, 50 years is that early? We don't know how, how soon such stories circulated or when people spoke of resurrection, what they meant. Mm. But we know that at least by the time of the writing of Luke and John, there were people who spoke about him being physically present. And both Gospels at the same time tell different stories which speak about uh, him appearing as a visionary presence. Mm -hmm. So I think people just said, well, I don't know, it could have been this, could have been that. Um, and those writers wanted to say, well, however it happened, the main point is that he was alive. It only becomes a, a sort of a doctrine of the church about 150 years after that. When Tertullian says, well, everybody thinks the spirit is, is raised. I mean, that's not a question. Everybody believes that. The flesh being raised, that is something we teach. And that's what we mean. You have to believe that the body was raised. Tertullian was a Stoic. And Stoics were materialist philosophers. They, they, they thought there's no such thing as spirit divorced from materiality. So you can't just talk about a spiritual vision without a body. So he said, when I think of resurrection, I write about on the flesh of Christ, on the body of Christ. And I write treatises that say, you can't just say resurrection and mean something that might be imaginary. It has to be physical. The flesh of Christ, the body of Christ comes out of the grave. That becomes doctrine with Tertullian. And he was emphatic on that point. As I said, that's part of his Stoic conviction. Mm. Thank you. 